farming is a almost an act of faith. You're just taking a, a chance on producing a good chicken as far as poultry farm. We put those chickens out in that chicken house that they're going to grow and they're going to live and come out a good weight and everything's going to um, going to work out good. Uh, has my faith been tested as a farmer? Sure it has. Well, back in uh, December 2014, um, I didn't know what was going on, but in the in the, about the fifth week of uh, raising a flock out, the birds just just started dying. I didn't know what it was, but it was just by just a large amount of birds, almost full-grown birds uh, by the hundreds and uh, didn't have a clue. Nobody had diagnosed what the problem was at the time. Uh, so I went through that flock, got away from that flock. We evaluated, we said, well, let's grow another flock. So we um, grew another flock and everything rocked on just fine. Then all of a sudden you hit that five week and had the exact same issues. So th at that time, uh, got some people uh, involved, uh, finally determined that we had dermatitis in the house. They said, well, let's try, let's raise one more flock. Maybe it, it won't have a problem. Me being young, uh, a young poultry farmer, n not having a clue, never seen anything like this, uh, I said, okay, we'll try it. Well, the same thing happened again. And I said, I can't make it if this happens again in desperation. I said, I've got to do something. So got my integrator out here, got to supervise the managers out here, and we were looking and uh, finally decided, well, we need, we need to clean out, treat the floors. One person standing there said, no, let's raise one more flock. And I said, there's no way. I can't raise one more flock in this house. We cannot financially make it. I can't mentally make it. Something's got to give here. Well, I was at panic mode. I, I had come into panic mode. I had to do something. At that time, I had uh, been in touch with Alan Reynolds uh, with, uh, with Southland, and he was telling me of a product to treat the floor. So we cleaned out down to the, the dirt, and then we, uh, we put Litter Life and treated the floors pretty heavily. The next flock, uh, almost at 35 days, I found a few birds that looked like they might have something, but then it all, the next morning I got up, everything was clear, and uh, at that flock, my mortality rate at the end of the flock was uh, right at 2% mortality rate. The three flocks uh, that I had dermatitis, one flock was at 8%, one flock was around 7%. Uh, one flock I know was at 10%. And these were all losing birds, big birds. After treating the floor uh, with litter life, we went to 2%. So I went from almost 10% to 2% mortality rate uh, after treating the floors and uh, cleaning out the house. People have told me dermatitis is not only in the litter, but it's in the dirt. It, it uh, affects the whole thing. And they said you can never really get that out of a house once it's had it. After using the litter life 15 months, I have not had any uh, reoccurrence of dermatitis. I believe uh, the litter life product, you know, helped. Southland has uh, been exceptional, uh, getting the product to me when I need the product, and uh, whatever the product is, whether it's a big old bird or whether it's litter life, I need it, I got it, and it's taken care of, and it's taken care of my birds and my farm.
the guy I bought the farm off of told me, he said, there'll be days that you'll go, why did I ever look at a chicken farm? But then there'll be other days that you'll go out there and you'll go, wow, I wouldn't do anything different. And, and it has come true.